Hey, I'm Lucas, and welcome to Tick Tick Tier Stick, where I'll answer one of your Tick Tick questions in a video or share a helpful trick that I found myself. This commenter inquired about creating a full day template inside a Tick Tick. While the exact example they phrased in the comment isn't possible, Tick Tick templates are versatile and they can do more than you might think. So let's dive in and see how they work. In this video, you're going to learn about three types of templates tasks, notes, and lists, which are more of a pseudo template. The task and note templates are a tick tick default feature. You can access your templates by navigating to settings and then template. If you've never looked there before, you'll probably see some tick tick created ones for both tasks as well as notes. From the template library, you can edit their title, apply them to a task or note, or delete them. But strangely, you cannot edit the contents. We'll get into that a bit later. Applying a template will create a new task or note in your default list, which you can configure under settings, then task default, default list. Rather than applying a template from the library and moving it to your default list, you may want to create one straight from the list it should belong to. To do so, go to your list first, then create a task, and then press the down facing arrow, which presents the add from template option. This method not only allows you to create from a list, but also a specific section of a list. You cannot, however, insert a template into a subtask for an existing task. On the other hand, task templates can include subtasks. Take a look at my weekly review video to see an example in action. If these videos aren't enough for you, you want to get more free Tick Tick tips, hacks, and tricks, you can subscribe to my free Tick Tick Tuesday email course. The link's going to be in the description. You'll get one Tick Tick tip delivered to your inbox every Tuesday. To save an existing task as a template, navigate to the More menu in the bottom right corner and select Save as Template. By default, the task title will be presented as the template title, which you can edit from there as well. Saving a template with the same name as an existing one will override it. This also means that if you want to edit an existing template, you need to first apply it, then change it as a regular task, and then save it with the same name to update it. If all you wanted to do was edit the template, you can then proceed to delete the task you created to make the changes. If you want to learn how to build an entire productivity system inside of TickTick, consider enrolling in my TickTick Power User course. It outlines my entire system from A to Z, a system that's helped hundreds of others who've gone before you and have left raving reviews. It's working pretty well for a lot of people. It's not a course where you're forced to copy my entire system literally one-to-one. -one. Instead, it should serve to inspire you and hopefully save you some time as well. You may not even need to follow me on YouTube anymore after completing the course. And that's my goal. I want to help you get to a state of peak productivity as soon as possible. If that's through these YouTube videos, that's totally fine. If it's through email, that's great. But if you are willing to invest a little, you may just see returns on your investment a lot more quickly. So check out the course link in the description to see if it's a good fit for you. As you can see, the Tick Tick template feature is strongly concentrated on single objects, tasks, and notes. There is no default list template feature that would enable you to import multiple tasks or notes, let alone have them contain preloaded time associations, tags, or priority levels. The best workaround I found to this problem is to create a folder in your Tick Tick setup named Templates. Then, creating lists that you're intending to use as templates by saving them in there. The key to making this all work is to duplicate the list by navigating to the right of the list name and selecting Duplicate whenever you want to apply this list template. Doing this will create a list with the same name plus copy to the end of it, which you can now move to an appropriate place outside the Templates folder. As you can see in this example, the sections, all tasks, as well as their priority level and time associations were preserved in the process. Of course, you can also apply this trick to single tasks or notes. Duplicating them will retain their priority level, time association, and reminder settings as well. Comments, however, won't be copied over, no matter which method you use. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any more questions about this particular topic, leave it in the comments, as well as any other questions you may have about TikTok in general. You may just see yourself getting features with your question in a future video. Thanks for watching and see you next Tuesday.